Welcome to this video that describes how to test the company data services that you have developed for TIBCO Cloud Live Apps. You, as the developer responsible for your company's data services, will have developed a service in your user sandbox. Before promoting your service to an organization sandbox and making your company data service generally available, you will want to test that it works correctly in live apps. Meet Holly and Vicky. Holly is responsible for her company's data services. Vicky is a live apps application designer. Currently, Vicky has designed an application that processes job interviews. A candidate that is selected for an interview needs to be created in Vicky's company HR system. Vicky has asked Holly if there is already a suitable service that she can use. As there is not, Holly has created a new candidate service. However, first, Holly needs to test her service in live apps before she makes it available to Vicky. To test her service in live apps, Holly needs to create a simple application containing a creator process. The creator process contains two tasks. A user task that collects some data to send to her service, and a second task that sends the data to her service and receives a status response back. There are two possible returns. OK and NOT FOUND. OK is used for service status codes of 200 to 299. NOT FOUND may be returned by a service that fetches data for something identified by the input data. NOT FOUND is used for a service status code of 404. Any other response codes cause the process to halt. In Live Apps Designer, Holly creates an application. She opens the data editor and adds some test data fields, including a field called status. She will assign the response status from her service to this field. To call her service, Holly needs to add a second task and set it to work with my company's data services. First, she needs to select a service. The Select Service dialog shows the cloud integration services that are available. The draft services are in user sandboxes and the published services are in organization sandboxes. These have also been exposed as an internal endpoint. She selects Create a new employee from her draft candidate service. In Inputs, she configures the data that she wants to send to her candidate service. The inputs are entered in the Enter HR Service Test data task, which is the first task in the test process. Depending on how Holly has configured her service, the service may return data from the system it is querying, as well as a response status. If Holly's service was going to return some data, she could configure her test application to display this data in another task in her creator process. In this case, she configures the application to receive a response status from her candidate service. She assigns the response status to the status data field. Holly is now ready to test her application. As per her creator process, she creates a new case and adds some test data. When she opens the case details, she sees her status field contains an OK response status. This means that when the case was created, the service task was run and the HR system updated. She is satisfied her candidate service is working correctly, so she makes the new service generally available. Thank you for watching this video.